Hello everybody and welcome back to another video showcasing my game. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> I, I don't know why, but the it was just like you could tell like my voice was like building up and I, I just I just went with it outside. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Alright. Oh I I, I just showed ability <laughs> which uh you probably read the title i'm showing off the abilities didn't mean to show it like that though but basically it's a it's a bow I, let's just get straight into it okay the first ability i guess i'll show is it's like a it's like a teleporting bow and basically i'll go to this side of the map you kind of saw what happened already but then you shoot and then you teleport to where you uh wherever it once it like there's like a timer i guess basically i don't know exactly what the timer is just maybe like a second or two after you uh shoot the projectile but yeah basically you could bounce off walls as well see that see that was cool right uh, and as you can see, I'm about to die now. Basically, uh, every time you shoot the projectile, you probably noticed I take one damage. So it's something you're not gonna be wanting wanting to use often. And uh, it's not looking good right now. So yeah. <laughs> All right, let's restart. All right, here we go. Back again. Um, okay, the second ability. Which one do I want to show? Well, this one we're actually gonna um, go up against the enemy, I guess. I I don't know if I want to show three three more abilities, or do I want to save one? Uh, I'll save one ability. Um, I won't tell you which one because that would kind of ruin everything, but. Okay, here's the second ability. All right. Okay. Not not as self-explanatory. Okay. Red particles emitting from the emitting from the enemy. Um. Okay. So basically, what it does is it's also a part of the bow kind of thing, as you can see next to the player, the bow kind of or laser. I don't know what it is. We'll just call it a bow for now. It basically shoots out and then, yeah, it kind of it it random. <laughs> I'm acting like you guys actually know what know what's going on, but um, basically it randomizes the stats of the enemy. It will randomize the rage ability if you or not the rage ability, but the rage mode. If you saw the last, yeah, but if you saw the last video then you would know that the rage mode is basically they transform into it after interacting with the abilities I actually put that in the video um, obviously but yeah basically it's make the, so basically hmm okay I say basically a lot basically basically, basically yeah I'm sorry um, but pretty much it randomizes so what there is when I was coding the game is there's a rage multiplier right and the rage multiplier kind of is added on to the stats of the enemy when the enemy turns into rage mode so basically what the what this ability does is it modifies that rage multiplier um, it's not just a multiplier, even though it's called Rage Multiplier, sometimes I think I minus stuff to it, because it's it's complex, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it does. But let's go up and get some more enemies. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, hopefully I could... Oh, oh, they both went into Rage Mode. And it doesn't, it doesn't work, as you can see, it doesn't work. Um... They're in rage mode, so yeah. 
Okay, might as well show you that it damages you. So that's kind of the downside of using it. Because I'm trying to keep everything balanced. Most of the abilities aren't really... aren't really necessary. Um, I mean, some, some of them help most of the time. This is probably the least helpful one out of all of them. Because as you can see, it kind of takes up a big portion of the screen and it could hurt you pretty easily. But if it interacts with the enemy and it emits green particles, like how before it emitted red particles, if it emits green particles that means it lowered the rage multiplier so it's not as much. And yeah. And I think it does something else too. I probably should have been more prepared for making the video. <laughs> but yeah. You get the basic idea of it. I think it helps them Oh, this is another thing it does. So basically there's two ways for rage mode to happen with enemies. Um, basically it could happen naturally or it could happen I guess artificially by interacting with the abilities the player abilities so basically if it succeeds um, prevent the natural occurrence of the rage mode basically it's kind of complex and Probably should move on now. Um, should it? Okay, so I'm just showing one more then, right? Okay, this one will be really easy to show. A lot simpler than the last one. And there you go. You saw it. Uh, it's just a shockwave kind of thing. Notice how when I do the shockwave, it affected the enemy that wasn't in rage mode, but it didn't affect the enemy in rage mode. It's a common thing with the abilities. And that's kind of the form of balancing the abilities. But the abilities on for the player are definitely definitely not necessary most of the time. Because a lot of the times they could get you in trouble, basically. Okay, I need to make a conscious effort to stop saying basically. But yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much all the that I'll show today. Um, the, the, I spent so much time trying to explain the randomizer one. Basically, that's what I'm calling it. I'm calling it the randomizer um, because it kind of randomizes the, the stats, like I mentioned before. Let's not go back into that though, because that was a bit too much. Anyway, um, if you have any suggestions and. Eh, like I've put in the videos, the game is still subject to change. Uh, there's probably some more balance to do. Um, and I'll probably continue to change the game after release. That's pretty much it. And but You could probably do some really cool tricks with that one. And also another thing that the randomizer does, I know, sorry. I mentioned it again, but you probably noticed that it blocks projectiles. From the enemies so if you're really accurate and you really don't want a projectile to be able to hit you this uh, little core thing right here um, could actually save you pretty much so yeah that's pretty much it and that was a lot of talking <laughs>